All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to probably the first Photoshop tutorial. This is like the basic beginning stuff of how to do anything in Photoshop. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a photo collage, calling it the All About Me project, um, where you just get a bunch of pictures and combine them into one picture. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make something like this. This is the one I made for myself all stuff that I like to do, but I'm going to start with a new one. So let's go up here to File, New. There we go. And let's go here in the Print Settings because we're going to make it about the size of a piece of paper. So go to Print, Letter, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, except we want this to be wide instead of tall. So let's do that. 11 by 8.5, 300 pixels, all oh, this looks good. Let's have the background be... Look, it only gives you these three options, but if you scroll down, boom, we got transparent. So we want it transparent. Okay, that's all we need. So make sure you have those settings, hit create, and now we've got a blank project here we can work with. Now, if you're doing this for my class, the uh, requirements are to have at least nine pictures. So if you want to be like really organized about this, you can go over here on the side, click on this ruler and drag it. And this will give you some guides. So if you want your pictures to all be like lined up with each other, put those in there and you can, you know, kind of match them up with the ruler here. Uh, can I move it once it's there? Hmm. Probably with this tool I can. Yep. Okay. So, and then I can go up to the top, drag some guides down here. So now I have a 3x3 three three grid so I can get nine pictures in there. This is not a requirement, but just if you wanted to have something like this. Um, okay. What do I do next? Let's uh, start importing some some pictures. So we will go open and we're gonna go here to all about me so I'm gonna make one for my daughter um, let's start with this one here so we've got a picture of San Francisco this is where she was born so what I want to do is get this picture into this one so I've got these tabs up here where you can move back and forth between them. So this one's blank and I want this picture in there. So what I'm going to do is go up here, edit, no, nope. select all. Okay, and then we've got this marching dotted line. Uh, that means everything inside this area is selected. So now I can go edit, copy, and then let's go to this page edit, paste. There we go. Now I can click on it and move it around. So we'll put this in the top corner. And notice here it says layer one. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this so I know what it is. San Francisco. Okay, next thing I want to do is resize this. Maybe I'll wait on that. Let's put another picture in here first. So let's open another one. Uh, Elsa really likes Pokemon and I believe her favorite character is Diglett. So let's let's put Diglett in here. So I'm gonna select all. The shortcut is Command A. I'm going to copy that and go over here. Paste this and now I can move this around. Now see how we've got a separate layer? So let's double click there rename that. Now notice this one doesn't come with its own background. That's because of the kind of picture it, it is. It's a PNG. Notice here diglet.png um, and just the way that it was on the internet where I downloaded it from it has a transparent background. So that's kind of cool where you can even move it on top of things. We could have diglet coming up out of the uh, San Francisco Bay. Why not? File open. Uh, let's see, Taekwondo. 
He also likes to do Taekwondo. Now, look at this. <clears throat> I can tell already that this picture is going to be too small. I'm going to select it, copy it, go over here, paste it, and it's a lot smaller than the others. And the issue is going to be, once I resize it, it will be very pixelated and it'll look terrible. So, but now's a good time to show you how to resize things. I'm not going to re bother renaming this because I'm going to get rid of it eventually. But let's say I want to resize San Francisco to fit in this uh, this corner here. So I'll select that layer, San Francisco. Then I go here to Edit, Free Transform. Shortcut is Command T. And now I can drag these corners, and it's possible for me to resize it all messed up like that, but uh, if you don't want that to happen, just hold the shift button while you're moving your mouse, and now it'll keep its, uh, keep its, what, ratio, whatever. Okay, so let's say I want it to go to that bottom line, like that. Okay, so it should, there, now it'll snap to that bottom line. Uh, if I try and match that line, then it, it's going to smoosh it. So I'm going to undo that. Now, notice I can't select any of these other layers because this one still has the transform corners. So I need to finalize this transform, say I'm done with this. So to do that, you just hit enter. And now those corners go away. And now... I can select these other things. Um, let's say I want to move San Francisco over a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually cut off everything to the right of this line. <coughs> so here I'll go to my selection tool, the rectangular marquee tool, and now I can I'll click over here past the edge and then I'm just dragging it and I'll go up to where that the uh, guide is. So now it's selected everything inside here and it's only on this San Francisco layer. So now if I hit delete, it deletes everything in San Francisco layer that was inside the dotted lines. It didn't affect the Taekwondo picture. And now I can go to select, deselect, and that gets, gets rid of those dotted lines. Okay, now let's move, oops, I don't want to move that. I want to move Diglett. Put him kind of in the, the corner there. Okay. Let's try resizing Taekwondo and see what happens. So Command T for free transform and then scale that up. And let's put them in the middle. I hit enter. And we see already it's pretty pixelated even at this small, but once we zoom in, yeah, that's nasty looking. So what you want to do when you are searching for pictures online, make sure you don't get just the thumbnails of the picture. You want to download the full image. Otherwise, you'll run into problems. So let's get rid of this layer. Delete that. And let's do the regular size Taekwondo. See how much better that looks. Select all, copy, paste. Very nice. Now see how I'm zooming in and out of my picture. So if I hold the space bar, this little hand appears and that's where I can move things around, but that doesn't work when I'm when I can see the whole page. If I hold space and command, then the magnifying glass turns into a plus. If I hold space, command, and option, or alt, then it's a minus. It zooms out. So if I've zoomed in a little, now the hand can move things around like that. So it's not actually moving the picture on the on the page, it's just moving what I'm looking at. So let's zoom out here. You can also go over here to the... Oh, that's not it. Where is our magnifying glass? This one, zoom tool. So you can use that too, but I think it's easier to just stay on this. 
All right, so let's transform this one. Something like this. Hit enter. Okay, now what if I want to cut off the, all the edges that are not inside these guidelines? So let's go to the rectangle here, and I'm just going to select everything inside the guides. And if I hit delete, it deletes everything inside that. But let's undo that, and instead let's select inverse. So now it's selected everything that's outside of those lines. Hit delete. Now, all that's gone. Cool. So let's do one more. I'm not going to show you all these things. You can do that on your own time. Um, let's try this thing. I also like to play the drums. And so let's select that, copy. I'm going to close some of these things. There. Then let's paste that in here. Okay, and let's resize that. Whoa. That's good. And I would put that right about there. Okay, same thing. Let's select everything inside the guides, <coughs> then go inverse, and that'll delete all that extra stuff out there. And then go select, deselect. Okay, now with some, sometimes you might want to cut things out and have them on top of a different picture. So let's say I wanted a different background here. Um, let's put this Miyazaki one. Elsa really likes Miyazaki movies. Totoro, that stuff. So let's just make this really big like that. And let's say we wanted to have Totoro behind this drum set. Oh, I didn't rename any of these, so let's rename this Totoro drums. So I'm going to go to the drum set. And I dragged it here, but I can't see it anymore because Totoro is the layer on top of it. So let's select that layer and drag it down. Now the drums are on the top layer, but they've got this white background. So there's a few options we could do. First of all, let's try just on this the layer properties here. See how it says normal for the blending mode? That means it's not doing anything special to the blending but if you click that there's all these kinds of things you can choose there's darken which usually makes anything that's light turn transparent uh, but that makes part of the drum heads also transparent a lot of it is so that doesn't necessarily work multiply uh, lighten I think does the opposite so the white stuff stays there and the other shines through. Oh, and look, we got this thing still there. So in this situation, I don't think any of these things are going to work. I mean, darken kind of works, but not, not exactly. So let's put it back to normal. And what I'm going to do is use this lasso tool. And I'm just going to click all around here with my mouse. Just going to do this really fast and it's going to look really dumb. But okay, so all that selected, then I can select inverse, delete. All right, so now that's how you can delete a lot of stuff really fast. So if we wanted, we could go in here and fine tune it. Um, <coughs> a few things we could do is go here to the eraser tool, and then I can just click here and erase it little by little. Uh, I can change the brush, brush size. So this is how big the brush is. Like that. Uh, I could see how it's kind of blending it. So that's this other thing, the hardness. So hardness is at zero. If I put that at a hundred, then it's a hard edge where it's erased. 
Using the eraser on something like this would be a huge pain because it's so detailed. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, let's do this other thing. Um, no. No. Which one is it? There it is. Either Quick Selection or Magic Wand can work. They kind of do the same thing. I'm going to go with Magic Wand. What that will do is select any color that's the same. So if I click here on this white background, see how it selected all the, all the white? And now I hit Delete, and it's all gone. There's still a few spots here that were in between, so I can zoom in on that and select these individual spots and delete those. Oh, last thing you're going to want to do is put your name on here somewhere. So let's go to the Type tool, and for now we'll just click Anywhere. And up here it shows you your font and the colors and size and all that stuff. I'm just going to start typing my name and then with that with that layer selected oh all those things went away but I've got this little menu here character if yours is not showing up just go to window character like that and here I can change I don't want that Harry Potter font I want blood of Dracula of course and let's just change the color to black and let's bring up the size. I'll just put in 100. So the color will depend on where you're putting it. So probably if it's over this stuff, then white would be better. And it also makes it easier to see sometimes if you put a drop shadow on it. But uh, that might be for next video.